Hello everyone, my name is Tony Smith and welcome to my garden. Today I want to just take you through eight reasons why I hate gardening. This is this show is gonna be there's gonna be a few little potty words in here as well because these aren't the reasons like slugs and snails are eating your lettuces or caterpillars are trampling all over your cabbages. No no no, these are bigger and this is not like a, a clickbait one. These are some of these things that have happened to me in gardening experiences and I've just thought, do you know what? Bollocks. That's the type of thing that I'm going to tell you about today. So if you like this show, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get on to the first one. So the first reason why sometimes I hate gardening is, like I mentioned, a big one and it is to do with the polytunnel. Brand new polytunnel or it's about six months old there now and i spent all of last year from around about september october getting everything sorted there was days days planning for this and financially it cost a small fortune i think we're probably talking about close to a thousand pounds you know for everything all you know like wood cement and everything and time the time is just unreal how much time it took us to kind of get it sorted you know dodging between shifts but the reason first day I put it up I went and put a hole in it yes and it's not just hidden round there eye length and I don't know what happened no one's I've never mentioned this before and no one's ever told us like spotted it but and I can it and I've played back the videos and you know that first day when we actually drag in the polythene over I put that gets that hole in it and I was just like are you kidding me all this because it's it's right there do you know what i mean it's i'm six foot two six foot three it's right at the level where you know you don't want to have a mistake you can you can hide mistakes and bury them in the ground but this one but lucky enough i just put on some of the tape you know the special tape you get and hopefully <laughs> hopefully it hasn't you know it won't bother us a, a, anymore but that was just one of them times when you think it really the the comes to the kind of the crunch really so for the next one we have to come into the polytunnel and this is what happened this one was the reason that inspired this video so i'll just turn you around there now and you can kind of just gently there you can just see the tomatoes and you can see this one is not looking too good but i came in the other night and this is what happened Yes, just walked in and <laughs> disaster. One of my strings has snapped from the, oh dearie me. I have to get that sorted out. So yes, all, I mean, you're talking like these are grafted tomatoes. These have been mothered, you know, and I was praising these string and it's obviously the string and there, there is some weight on this, but this whole thing was just lying, crashed there on its side. And, you know, when you put your heart and soul into kind of getting, I mean, these are some lovely ones, you know, I don't want to kind of damage them or lose them. And then you see it just lying on the floor. Again, it's just one of them things you say, you're kidding us, are you kidding us? But hopefully, it's somewhere to go and, uh, you know, rescued. And it won't be long, hopefully, before those are, are ripe and I can get them away. So we're outside for the next one. And it's to do with covering beds again and protection and this time this is a kind of a, a netting bed that's a total you know it was one big and i converted into two brand new thing the day i built this again i never <laughs> told anybody but i always try and show it from this side because i went and snapped it over there putting it putting it in like trying to bury it in the in the ground there and you can see sell a tape to keep that open because it was oh, and it you know it's it's not the money it's just like the frustration it takes you that long to build these things and again i did it over here as well and I, someone mentioned that we're gonna send us a, like a, a tea piece because again snap one of these things and when the whole bed hang pivots on these oh you just think what and it they take that long to put up so for this next one and I, i'm hoping i'm not the only one that does this but i've kept it because again and i think it's just it is it's just down on my own stupidity but 
you see you put your heart and the soul in all of the greenhouse and then I end up cutting off the tomatoes instead of a leaf you know when I'm kind of thinning the leaves at the bottom I went and cut like the wrong truss and I, I do that so often and even to the point if you have a look over here these tomatoes sitting on there they're tomatoes that I've cut by mistake that are the wrong ones where I should have been cutting other ones so I'm hoping that maybe you do this stupid thing as well because when you cut it off and you've got all your tomatoes ready to go and you've done everything right then you just go oh, bollocks so this next one's very personal to me and it's just it's frustrating uh, and it's annoying and it hurts uh, like i say i've upgraded this whole garden from a, like a traditional allotment garden to raised beds and new polytunnel and flagstones and somewhere within that period of between october and uh, probably april somewhere around there i've damaged my shoulder and it's just it's still hurting it's still pained and like i say it's it's a personal thing but it's just like oh fuck. and it's hampering us now to do other jobs you know it's even to the point where it hurts when a, a little treat for myself after a night shift is to get a mcdonald's breakfast it even hurts to put me phone to pay at the card you know what i mean i cannot even do that mind the daughter's got us on tubby watch to to be enough she's glad i kind of do that anyway so yes that's just a personal one but it's just it's really kind of frustrating us now because there's lots of things i just want to get on with and i just i've just got to kind of wait for this i've got to do physio and everything like that and it's oh i could do without it so the next one is again it's my own stupid fault i just charged ahead a lot of people told us about this one i didn't listen and it's it's not something that i can regret but it's just it's a it's a mistake and i i know it's there and i know it happens every time it rains so i'll just turn you around there just ever so gently this is you know it's a kind of two-part allotment we've got like the the raised beds on this side with a kind of a wood you know wood chip wood floor in there and then we've got the flagstones there and down at this bottom everybody mentioned it when it rains it floods down there I, oh, because i put up in a little extra bed there i want to get as much bed work in there as possible and you can actually see it's still i've got the holes are still there but the soil gets up and you know you're talking like the water a good downpour it just fills well that's no much how much protection this little area here is not going to last as long as i would like so i'm needing some advice on that as well if anybody can got some advice what i can do to get rid of this alleviate the stress for me and again let us know in the comments below the things that you hate about gardening you know like kind of you messed up and you just thought you know what i'm bloody sick let us know in the comments so the next one was not on my list but it's a bonus one right and it's it's annoying ever the same so i've got all that netting done spent all that time and look at i can see two cabbage white butterflies just enjoying life in that bed do you know what i mean i have no idea where they're getting in from to be honest but they're in there that's something that really frustrates us but that was not on the list so this next point that just what i hate is and it's referring back to the point where of, of my shoulder but if i just turn you around there i can't do jobs and this job the wind has blown off my roof from my hut and every time it rains now it's leaking in there and it's another one of them things where i just and as soon as i seen it it had come off you know i'd seen it straight away and i was like oh, but i just because of the dicky shoulder I kind of get up to kind of fix it and oh it's just so frustrating so every time it rains now even when I'm at home or at work I'm thinking oh it's going in it's leaking in there but at the moment I can't do anything about it so this one gripes me so the final one is just a little light one this is not really a one that I hate but it's a one that I kind of I need kind of telling to stop doing and I'm guessing we all do it and it's to do with carrots or any root vegetable where I'm too lazy to actually, you know, 
pull them out properly or dig them up properly and they snap off. In here, there is a load of carrots that I've snapped off and I thought, oh, you've got to go and get the trowel. You've got to try and find where you snapped it off and then you stick it up, you snap it anyways. It is one of my pet hates, and I'm guessing there's a lot of people do that. But this bed hopefully is going to be cleaned out soon as well anyways. But let us know, is that one of your pet hates? Do you do that one? So there we go. Just a few of my little hates of the garden. And yes, they are hates, like I say. To grow a tomato from seed all the way through, nurse it, bring it up. Then from your own stupid self to <laughs> cut the tomato truss. Oh, that just wrangles me. Do you know what I mean? And like I say, going in and just finding all tomatoes because the string snapped on them hooks. It's just another one. There's so many. I've probably got more. Let us know in the comments what you hate about gardening. That would be fantastic. So listen, enjoy your Sunday night and I will see you next time. Look after yourselves. Take good care.